Welcome to the May 2019 CV News. There's still time to participate in the Vote Volunteer Vision campaign in advance of the European Parliament elections that will take place from 23rd to 26th of May. Download the completed version here and the empty template to encourage your MEP candidates to think about their Vote Volunteer Vision. Here we have the candidates who have already committed and pledged to the establishment of a Volunteering and Solidarity Intergroup if they are elected. Contact your candidates and get them to pledge too. In news from the European Volunteering Capital Competition, you can still apply to be the 2021 Capital. The online application form and more information can be found here. The deadline is 11th of June. In Košice, the European Volunteer Capital 2019, they've been organising information days for primary and secondary schools talking about volunteering. Save the date for the study visit to Košice that will be held between 15 and 18 of September 2019 during the Košice Volunteering Days. More information coming soon. And part of the European Volunteer Capital 2020 has officially started preparing for its role with the signing of a memorandum between CEV and the municipality. In CV activities, here you can find a list of all the upcoming events and you can still participate in the three online employee volunteering training courses, in the CV capacity building conference taking place in Budapest at the end of May and in the EU Aid Volunteers Seminar in Brussels 6-7 of June and the Solidar City Conference on the 18th of June. All information and application to participate can be found here. You can also submit your volunteer-led initiatives for the WISH platform, the Welcome, Inclusion and Support Hub for Refugees and Asylum Seekers in Europe, and CV is looking for two volunteers resident in Belgium to join a European Solidarity Corps project in Zagreb from 1st of June to 15th of November. Contact CV if you're interested to apply. CV staff have been attending the Don Bosco event, considering how youth can respond to engaging in a more challenging social and political environment in Europe. And CV has also been attending the dialogue with the EC candidate Franz Timmermans, who commented that no society can survive without volunteers. CV participated in European Youth Week and particularly in the European Solidarity Corps flagship debate, where CV ESC trainees Luta Loth and Eleonora Andriolo met with Commissioner Navracic and shared their experiences so far as European Solidarity Corps trainees. The trainees also met with ESC President Luca Daye who shared later in the week what a pleasure it was to meet young people and especially those engaged in society and in democratic processes. The ESC trainees have also met with different social media influencers, highlighting how the European Solidarity Corps can be better reflected through social media. Here you can see the Instagram account of the European Solidarity Corps trainees at CV. CV has also been present in the EU Open Days, where the director joined ABR and the Interred Youth Volunteer Theodora Chatzapatelli uh, to explain about the IYV, IYV program and its relationship with the European Solidarity Corps. Gabriel Civico, the CV director, has attended the third validation of prior learning Biennale, and there the Lever Up project, where CV is a partner, was shared as a best practice for validation of transversal skills and competencies acquired while volunteering. And Julia Bordin, CV Project and Policy Officer, has been presenting the CV Vote Volunteer Vision campaign to the Scouts in Italy. In CV Members News, there is an interview with Citizen Forum in Finland about the Vote Volunteer Vision campaign and information about how the Vote Volunteer Vision campaign has been launched in Italy. The Flemish Centre for Voluntary Work has provided a summary to the elements of the Belgian law changes about volunteers and volunteering that took effect on April the 21st. You can read it here. Slovenska Philanthropia's project Getting to Know Each Other was presented during European Youth Week in Brussels as an example of good ESC solidarity project practice. And also during European Youth Week, CV member Wozen presented its campaign My Europe, My Say to encourage young Europeans to participate in the European elections. BBE has published a book focusing on the relationship between European democracy and civil society, especially looking at the digitalization of volunteering activities. You can find more information here. And an article has been published, Volunteering is a Choice for Change, written by Gabriela Civico, CV Director. Kessis, CV member, is hosting an event on the 19th of June 
where future meets experience, mentoring for inclusion. You can register here before 5th of June to participate. And Moody's Corporate Social Responsibility Report has now been published. In EU news, you can find out about the European Solidarity Corps call for proposals and about the possibility to participate in Poland to find out more about how European Solidarity Corps can help with activities in schools. The EU Aid Volunteers has also launched a new call for proposals with deadline on 13th of June. You can find also information about the Civil Society Days taking place on the 12th and 13th of June in the Economic and Social Committee and in different countries and locations around Europe. And the ACA has published the Europe for Citizens Report 2018, focusing on solidarity issues, promoting volunteering and exchange of good practice. The Council of Europe is celebrating 70 years of existence and you can read more about the celebrations here. In other news, Voluntas has the call for papers open about inequality and volunteering building a new research fund. And the EU-funded project Driver Plus is still looking for participants for the event 12th to 13th of June in Copenhagen, looking at volunteer management for organised volunteers and spontaneous volunteers. And the Secretariat of the Plan to Action to integrate volunteering into the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development is hosting an online discussion that you're all invited to participate in. UNESI has released the report of the Regional Forum on Sustainable Development 2019, where CV participated in March. And the Conference of NGOs of the Council of Europe has published their 2018 activity report. SDG Watch is searching for articles to its newsletter about SDGs, sustainability, and particularly the role of volunteers. Submit your articles here. For other European volunteering and civil society related matters, set, check out and subscribe to other newsletters here. CV is always willing to welcome new members to our network. Read more about membership here. We hope you enjoy reading this month's CV news.